Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Proctor, a pediatric neurosurgeon at Children's Hospital in Boston. And I'm here to talk to you today about plagiocephaly, also known as flathead syndrome. When a baby is born, the skull is made up of several individual bone plates, and they come together at what we call cranial sutures, which are these junctions here. The major sutures include the coronal suture seen here from above the child's head and here on the side view of the child's head, the metopic suture here, the sagittal suture here, and the lambdoid sutures here. And as a result of these, the baby has a soft head. This little area you see in the middle is the soft spot, also called the anterior fontanelle. In this illustration here, what we're depicting is the normal infant skull and then various phases of the skull becoming flatter over time. As you can see, all it really involves is the soft skull of the infant resting on a flat surface. It's important to note that although the plagiocephaly, this, this flatness over here, may be cosmetically a concern to you, it's really not, to the best of our knowledge, affecting the growth and development of the child's brain. If your child does have this head shape, usually someone with expertise in the area can establish this diagnosis by examining the child. It is not, in most cases, necessary to obtain x-rays, CAT scans, or MRI scans to figure out what this represents. When the change in the head shape is a little bit more severe, we might consider a helmet for the child. What we can see here in this diagram is that the blue represents the helmet. And what's important to note is that the helmet is really a shield for the child's head. In other words, it's not like a vise. It's not squeezing the child's head in on the prominent areas. It's shielding the flat areas so that the normal growth of the child's head is filling into the flat areas. Usually we can make this about 50 to 90 percent better than it was at the start of helmet therapy. If you'd like your child seen for plagiocephaly, there are lots of specialists here at Children's Hospital who treat it. Those specialists are both in the Department of Neurosurgery as well as in plastic surgery. Please call us or click on our website to request an appointment if you need further help.